We have a consumer alert tonight that you need to know about. Our Scripps sister station in Cincinnati has been getting complaints of fraud, specifically someone using their National City Bank or PNC debit cards without permission. Reporter John Matarese explains what's going on so you can prevent it from happening to you. Sandra Sanders is one of thousands of former National City Bank customers now banking with PNC. She tells us the transition was going fine until this week when she discovered two unexpected withdrawals on her old National City debit card. My husband was checking our checking account today and found two unauthorized $25 debits to the March of Dimes. Sandra says when they called the March of Dimes, they learned the money had not really gone to the charity. March of Dimes has confirmed they are not getting any of these monies. So they feel it's a scam as well as that's how we feel too because we know we didn't authorize it. Other customers were hit harder. Cynthia Sukoshki emailed me to say there was a charge made yesterday at Macy's in Costa Mesa, California for $1,300 on her old National City debit card. And another who asked that we not use his name emailed to say his PNC account is more than $1,000 overdrawn, again after unauthorized charges in California. PNC's Vice President of Communications, however, would not confirm Confirm a data breach, telling us only that we will work with individual customers to address their concerns. No PNC customer will pay in a case of proven fraud. He would not comment on the possible extent of this fraud. We want to be absolutely clear. News Channel 5 is in no way accusing National City PNC of any wrongdoing. We're merely reporting the facts that a growing number of PNC customers are finding their debit card accounts are being hacked into.